In the following demonstration, we'll create a pre-stressed modal solution for a cyclic symmetric segment of a turbine blade. We'll begin by creating our simulation models and a multi-step nonlinear solution 401 with two subcases, the first being a nonlinear statics and the second being cyclic modes. And here we'll select just the first uh, two modes for uh, all of the harmonics. Now we'll go ahead and define our cyclic axis for our cyclic symmetry as being the absolute coordinate system. And then we'll go ahead and put a tet mesh on our cyclic symmetric segment. And also assign a material to the mesh collector. We'll select 718. Now we'll create our cyclic symmetry simulation object. Here uh, we'll select with the right hand rule our source and target faces. That has to sweep in the positive direction according to the global cyclic axis in the right hand rule. Here you can see we have 18 segments that it's identified and we'll go ahead and create the cyclic symmetry simulation object. Next we'll create a user-defined constraint on one of our faces here. And just to simplify the selection, because it looks like I got a node through the face there, we'll go ahead and deselect that node and change our selection filter to polygon face. This will make it easier to get that face. And then we also want to exclude uh, polygon edge here. We need to put the focus of the dialog on the excluded object first, though. And then we can get our polygon edge. All right, and that was excluded from the dependent side of our cyclic symmetry simulation object because we had defined that constraint on the source side. Now we'll create our load. We'll put a rotation load 9,000 RPM and solve. <clears throat> Here I'll pause the movie. Uh, solution takes uh, a little over, uh, a little under five minutes to run. All right, so here we can see our nonlinear static solution results of the subcase for uh, stress. We can also take a look at our modal results in the second subcase and we'll turn on our cyclic options so that we can see the full uh, 360 of all of the cyclic symmetric segments. And this will help us to visualize better the, the modal results. So here we're on harmonic zero, which is our axisymmetric results. So you can see all of the entire segment uh, moving together. And we can look at the second mode there under harmonic index zero. You can see how that's uh, sort of a twisting mode. Now if we go take a look at some of the higher order harmonics, you'll see some of the uh, the Fourier uh, effects here. So here looking at uh, the first mode in harmonic index 3, you can see uh, the modal results there. We can also visualize that as a, a whirling mode as well.
So we could do either, either a forward or a backward whirling there. And that concludes the demonstration.